everybody welcome back to my channel how are you i always get a lot of questions on instagram uh, people always dm me especially about film school and filmmaking as a career in general and about movies in general and i'm always really happy to reply i love when people send me questions um, i'm no expert about film school or anything like that but since i already went through it i think i can help some people out so this video is gonna be about that answering your questions okay let's get started first question is from salma.rom and she asked which director inspires you the most this question is a little bit tricky because the director that actually inspires me the most is hayao miyazaki and he directs animated movies and i'm no animator i don't think you have to be an animated movie director to appreciate what he does um, and his stories and his art. So yeah, he is definitely the director that inspires me the most. <laughs> Second question is from Blues for Green. Talk more about your cat. Well, I'll gladly do that. My cat, her name is Luna. She has green eyes. She is gray and her little belly is white and she's crazy and when she poops it smells really bad. Also, she wakes me up at 6.30 every day asking for food. She doesn't meow, she just goes into my pillow and starts rubbing her face against my face until I wake up. Thank you for asking about my cat. <laughs> I love talking about her and I actually have a highlight on my Instagram dedicated to Luna. Amara Anwar asks, do you think you could ever move back to the DR or would you like to stay in LA? Hmm. I actually have no problem going back to the DR, I love the DR and I am lucky enough that in my career I can work there um, on, in the film industry or in the video production industry. Popcorn Head asks, how do you get over your fear of making slash uploading your first video on YouTube? It's so scary. Okay, so I actually made a video about this not long ago, it's called making YouTube videos while being shy and i talk about that fear of uploading a video on youtube and being open and speaking to the camera and stuff like that on that video um, but to keep it short you just gotta start slow what i started doing was i started making videos without actually speaking to the camera um, then I did some voiceover and if you don't want to do voiceover you can do some text on the video and then move on to voiceovers and then I finally had the courage of actually sitting in front of a camera and speaking so yeah just start slow and you don't have to right away put a camera in front of you and be like hey guys what's up because that's not realistic and you won't enjoy it so yeah that's my advice the Solitary Crew asks, I'm an aspiring director and film student and was wondering what advice you would give to someone hoping to get into a film school. This is a little bit general, but I think you're asking what do you have to do to get into film school? I think it just depends on what film school you're applying to. If they ask for a portfolio and stuff like that, then I suggest you start making short films. Even if you don't really know how, just Google or look on YouTube some tutorials about how, how to handle a DSLR and if you don't have a DSLR you can just do it on your iPhone I mean iPhones have great cameras so yeah I suggest you start creating some stuff on your free time uh, making some short videos short films that's if they ask for a portfolio if they don't then you don't have to worry about it because everything you're gonna learn about film you're gonna learn at film school but if you want to go already knowing like a basis and stuff i suggest you look for some tutorials gray moon grace asks what is your love language i actually have no idea what that is so give me a minute and i will google it <laughs> okay so based on that website i would say it's quality time i'm in a long distance relationship and i think spending quality time together even if we're apart like on skype or facetime it's very important to me so i would say that really Giselle asks Hello, do you have any tips for creative blog? Do you go through it and if so, how often? Whenever I feel like I'm just stuck and I don't have any ideas, I watch YouTube videos or movies or music videos or I just watch anything, any kind of like visual art and I get inspired pretty easily like that. Bmander8 asks, why do giraffes have blue tongues? 
look, I did go to veterinary school for one semester, but I didn't get that far, man. Nada, you sorry. Nada, you sorry. They ask how to deal with uni problems. Being insecure, popular students, how to socialize, how to make those years better. When I was in high school, I was the most insecure, the most shy, the most quiet. So I don't think you're asking the right person. <laughs> But honestly, I regret that so, so much. I used to like not do things because I was so shy and because I didn't want people to like talk about me or, or say mean things and stuff like that. So I was just always very like, just kept myself and honestly I really 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 regret it and, and I know that saying like just try to be more open just try not to care it's like but how am I supposed to do that you know but you just have to try and if you're like that during those years of your life you're going to look back on those years and you're really going to regret it which is what I, I'm doing right now with my high school years Marian Olivares asks ¿Dónde estudiaste slash estudias? ¿Qué planeas hacer con tu vida? Hmm. Yo estudié en Full Sail University en Orlando y ahora estoy estudiando en UCLA ¿Y qué planeas hacer con tu vida? Ni idea Angeline Holder asks How much experience in filmmaking should I have before going slash applying to film school and how could I get in a film school in America if I live in another country? Okay, so I kind of answered this question um, earlier, so it just depends on what the film school is asking you, if you need a portfolio or not, and about how to get in a film school in America if you live in another country. I just want you to know that it's very expensive, you're gonna spend a lot of money on visa and getting the English proficiency test, like the TOEFL. I suggest you take the TOEFL or any of those English proficiency tests Um, right away and study hard because at least in some colleges if you fail them then you have to take like a couple months of English classes when you get to the university and some universities don't even accept you if you don't have a good score on those tests so I would say study for that and yeah um, I, it's hard to answer such general questions because it just depends on what the exact college is asking of you XOXO Rigi asks Describe your aesthetic in three words. I would say pastel. I don't know, man. Cutesy and... I don't know, guys. Can you help me? What would you describe my aesthetic? I don't even... I don't really know. I just do my thing. Oops, Kaya asks, How hard is it to find a job after film school? And what's your fave movie? Finding a job after film school it depends on how hard you're looking. My friends and I, when we moved out here to LA, we were looking for jobs 24-7. We would send resumes every single day. I found a job after moving to LA like two months after I moved here. I don't think it's very hard at all. It just depends on your determination and how hard you're looking. Oh, and what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Spirited Away, I think. I have a lot of favorite movies. I have a video about my favorite movies. Here it is. Danaila Leva asks, I really want to know how did you afford to go live in the USA and also to pay college? Did your parents afford everything or was it you? It was my parents 100% and I am extremely grateful for that. That's why right after I finished and I moved to LA, I wanted to find a job so I could support myself, pay my rent and everything like that because they already did so much for me by paying for my college. Vanessa John asks, what would be your dream movie to make if all of the finances were paid off? Yeah, I don't know. I would have to think about it, but right now I would really like to make a coming of age story. But that sounds boring and not expensive. Hmm. Music Fall asks, what's the best thing you like about film school? The best thing I like about film school is that I don't dread going to class. I actually really enjoy going to class because we talk about movies and a lot of times homework is to watch a movie like for example my homework last week was to watch the hunger games <laughs> guys as you can see the lighting has changed drastically so I'm gonna try to do this quickly okay tell Drago asks is film school worth all the money that depends on you if you're a person that can learn 
online, learn by yourself, then no. But if you're like me that needs to sit in a classroom and focus on whatever the teacher is saying, then yes, it is worth it. It's Marsk asks, how did you knew that you wanted to be a filmmaker? I knew that I wanted to be a filmmaker ever since I was little. I used to run around with my video camera. That was my favorite thing to do, make movies with my friends on my video camera. That's basically all I did as a kid. I have so many movies from my childhood um, that I made. So I think it started just from my childhood. Movie recommendations. Um, well, I just watched Isle of Dogs. If you haven't seen my review, then it's on my channel. So that's a pretty good movie. And I also really want to watch A Quiet Place. I haven't watched it, but I'm recommending that you watch it so you can tell me if I can watch it. I hate horror movies and I get scared so easily. So you should watch it and then tell me if it's worth watching and if it's not that scary. Other than that, I do have a TV show recommendation and it's Westworld if you haven't watched it. I just watched it, I binge watched it, and it was amazing and my mind is blown. I see YouTubers owning multiple MacBooks, iMacs, widescreens, fancy studio spaces. Just how? They are hardly 25 years old. I ask myself that every single day. <laughs> I currently only have my camera and my 15mm lens. I don't I have a microphone but it's not that good, that's why I record on my phone and I don't have any lights, that's why this is happening right now. <laughs> my tripod sucks, so I never use it. I use my roommate's tripod. So I basically don't have any equipment and I've been saving forever to buy new equipment, but I honestly don't know how other YouTubers afford it. Sorry, I didn't answer your question because I don't know the answer. Can you share your views on the movie Raw and maybe make a list of your favorite horror movies? <laughs> I've never seen Raw, and if it's a horror movie, it's very probable that I will never see it. And my list of favorite horror movies is... I don't have a list. I hate horror movies. You can thank The Ring for that, for traumatizing me as a kid. Neon Plus Nova, hey guys, asks, Would you write slash direct an animated film or series if given the opportunity? Yes, definitely. Like I said, I love animated movies, especially Studio Ghibli and Hayao Miyazaki, so I would definitely love to do an animated film or series. That would be amazing. Okay, last question and it is from Jacob Gontko. I was thinking about going to film school but I would love to make movies even now. I don't have many friends though so I will have to do something alone probably. Do you have any tips or advice for me? I say go for it. If you don't have friends to help you, do it alone. That's basically how I do my YouTube video. <laughs> That's great that you want to do films now before you you even go to film school that's really great because that will give you an advantage over everybody else when you're there uh, but yeah I think you should definitely go for it and just create if you have ideas if you have anything on your mind that you want to do just do it then just think about it and yeah that's my advice I'm done with the Q&A thank you so much for asking me if you have any more questions you can always DM me and I will gladly answer. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a lovely day. <sighs> it's so hot. If you like this video, give it a like and if you have not subscribed, what you waiting for? No, I'm kidding. You can not subscribe if you don't want to, but I would be really happy if you do. I'm out. It's getting very hot. <laughs> Bye.